Good morning. Okay. So, weekend energy. Let's see what we're going to get. what we're working with for weekend energy. Okay. I hope everybody's good. Oh my God. Gotta water. You gotta water something. The roses are black, which is all good, but water it. Water it. Okay. Roses in my garden. So, with yesterday's energy, ladies and gents, they're really like, what do we want to talk about today? I threw spirit all off because I'm throwing, I'm doing a lesson first, so I'm throwing them off, but I wanted to do it backwards. Um, in regards to the travel, I literally feel like I have people screaming at me being like, you didn't talk about a cruise with, with Destiny being there or whatnot, okay? Um, so, some of you are cruising, all right? Have fun. Have a blast. Have a blast. Because I was seeing the ship's wheel afterwards with the wheel, okay? So, some of you are traveling by boat. Which is great. Which is fabulous. I want to get one more. I want to get one more. Someone wants to be queen. Someone wants to be queen. Alright. Additional messages for today's read. This is tough guys, I'm throwing them off because because um just because look at they gave us two. Alright, so Man. All right. Let's see what we get, troops. Let's see what we get. We get what we get and we don't get upset. Weekend energy. Weekend energy. Put you a little closer to moi. I might be back. Weekend energy, please. Weekend energy, please. Judgment, two of cups. Six of 
someone made a judgment call when it came to a lover, when it came to somebody that they care about, somebody that they're intimate with, or somebody they want to be intimate with. Um, King of Swords here. <clears throat> Six of Wands, Six of Swords, and the Ace of Chalices. So, <clears throat> someone made a judgment call for sure. Okay. See, the, I'm saying somebody made a judgment call, and this is for this weekend. So, I feel like for some, this already happened. Okay. Um, others, it's about to happen. And clearly, it has to do with you know, someone you love, and to me, it might be an Aquarian, um, we do have the King of Swords here, but we need to remember that we're just dealing with somebody very strategic about how they go about certain things, okay, um, I'm not too crazy about this card, you know, to me, this is somebody who's, could be smug or arrogant or just gives that persona, or just has that character, Okay, um, but this is not seeing something, either you or them. Okay, and then with the Six of Swords here, this is karmic. It's going in a certain direction, but you I don't know if you're leaving a lover, if you're going towards a lover. You know, but then we have the Ace of Chalices, so it's like the love is still here. So, you know, the King of Swords sometimes represents a conversation. Um, someone you're communicating with, but, you know, I am just said, like, at the, I felt like Natalie for a minute, at the apex of the spread, here's this King of Swords, and... It's surrounded by love and karma. So I don't necessarily know if it's going to be a karmic weekend. But there is something here with this king of swords. There's an ex external energy. So... I'm not saying... I feel a third party because I don't, but this external energy is here. So somebody's still with this judgment, you know, confusion. Something's going really slow. Um... But being under the judgment, or, or, or being under, you know, judgment, um, it can be confusing. Tell me about this to a chat assist. To a chat assist. Ten of Swords. This is over. In regards to either an external energy or your own energy. Looks like somebody left somebody and the thoughts are still there, okay? Um, but this person is having a hard time. I see the chalice on the ground and it's like, it was already empty, so I think you were dealing with somebody who just didn't have that type of love 
that maybe you felt towards them because somebody feels it but here the chalice is empty it's done and there's external energy outside the window so we have two external energies outside the wing window lingering um So, but this is forgiving someone, you know, so I'm not, I think there was another party. There was an, there was another person. Okay. And this King of Swords, now we got the chariot. So moving forward, moving away from external energy, but here's the deal. When this comes in, it's like, there's still that lover and it's like, neither of you are on the same page. You're both going in different directions. So it's, it's, it's tough. So there's external energy lingering. Whether somebody is with somebody else or not, that energy is in the ethers or it's about to step in. Okay, so if you're going through a breakup, there could be somebody else in the picture that already stepped in or somebody stepping in or past is returning. But I don't see the past returning. I kind of see the past moving forward here. Okay, so it's like I don't I, I just don't know if there's somebody about to step in or if the King of Swords is going towards the Chariot, which would be a Concerian. So I don't know if there's an Aquarian going towards a Concerian. Or there's an Aquarian that left a Cancerian. Okay. Um, I feel like with all this air that's coming up as Aquarian energy, it's not necessarily an Aquarian, guys. What it is, it, it's it's the Aquarian energy. But it's also the fool energy, freedom. You know, leaps of faith. So we have the Eight of Chalices. So this is... Okay, so this is the past going back to the past. This is returning to the past. This is walking into somebody's arms. This Eight of Cups is someone returning from the past, and especially being under the Six of Swords, there is a lover that is going to return. Okay. Um, I don't know how it's going to go, per se. All right, but it looks like someone's going to return. And there's definitely love, okay, but it doesn't mean that it's right. Because it's just hesitation, hesitation. Tell me about the Ace of Chalices. I don't know if there's somebody on the, on the outside, okay. Um, there could be this this King of Swords is going towards a Cancerian, or this King of Swords is traveling, okay? And they're going towards the Kama, and they're going to walk back into somebody's arms. There's a connection. And with the Death card, this is... Rise of the Phoenix, it could be just I mean, something that's completely over. Because, I mean, again, there's two lovers in the background. But I don't see a third party. So I just don't know if the person you're interested in is with somebody else. Or this is, this is the end of... Ugh, I gotta clarify that for you. Tell me about the death card. hanged man start at the bottom of the deck so I don't know if you're dealing with a Pisces a Cancerian an Aquarian but this is this is a pause that lover's there but it's there's a pause so I don't know if you're dealing with Scorpio energy, actually. I don't know why I said Cappy. Some of you guys are dealing with Cappies, but it's a pause. Hesitation. Let's clarify the Major Arcana. Tell me about judgment. 
Well, it's too late because, hold on, it flipped, but I didn't say it yet. Tell me about judgment, please. It's the king of pentacles. That would be Cappy energy. But this is like going around in a circle, like a merry-go-round, going around and around and around in somebody's head, which makes sense because it's judgment. Someone's passing judgment. So it's like merry-go-round energy. Tell me about the chariot. Oh, I love this song. Get busy. Get busy, Sean Paul. It's oldie. It's an oldie. Makes me want to put my kicks on and go dancing. Right on top of that speaker. All right. So we got the Six of Pence. So this is the Cancerian energy. This is, this Six of Pence is all about, you know, it's not even balancing out the scales. It's, there's somebody there. But, like, you can't be bothered. So I don't know if it's the Cancerian energy that just can't be bothered, even if there's somebody on the external. And, again, it's it's looking through a damn window, guys. So it's like, I don't know if you're looking at something with rose-tinted glasses on. It, it's some type of scenario here where it's like, especially with the confusion being here, I'm not really sure if you're seeing the bigger picture. All right, but this is somebody who can be... It's not the blame game, but like, it's like, not revengeful, but like, uh, it's a six of pence, so it's like, I don't even want to say bitchy, but like, this is like, I don't want to balance out the scales. I just, you know, so I don't know if you're a Cancerian and you're just like, I'm, I'm done. It doesn't matter if you're on the outskirts, if you're sitting behind a window. Like, it doesn't, it's that type of energy where it's like, I don't give a, a flying rat's ass anymore. So I don't know if there was a third party scenario that was happening or it's just somebody that you love is now with somebody else. Okay, or vice versa. Or there's somebody coming in because there's somebody on the outside here. I mean, it's clear as day. And it's just tough. Let's see what the lessons are. Okay. So this is this is tough. So here we go. I accept responsibility for my own well-being. It's, it's the blame game. So it's like don't put the blame on someone else. Okay, and and then you got friendship. I understand that there's a friend in my life for a reason. So see what I'm saying? Like there's love here. There, it's this is this is bizarre. But it's like this spread is not saying that you guys are together. Okay, so it's basically saying yeah, there's love, but I feel like you guys are on two different pages. Whomever this read is for, and I don't know if you're necessarily playing the blame game or not, or which energy is playing the blame game. But this. If you're dealing with a Cancerian, this type of energy can play the blame game. Okay. Um, but I don't have any other cards that are, that are telling me. Okay. Unless the Cancerian is blaming herself for putting herself in this position and keeping somebody on the outskirts. So this could be you upset with yourself when it comes down to a twin because this is my twin card. So this could be you being extremely upset with yourself for allowing yourself to stay in such energy. So I don't know if you're passing your own judgment here. Because it looks like, here's the tricky thing. It's the air sign, but it, depending on where air is in your chart, I mean, this could be you too. It could be all one energy. Well, there's two energies here, okay? And it's like, with the two of cups being here too, it's like you both love each other. But there's somebody on the outside, or this is like a spiritual connection type thing. But to me, with somebody constantly being behind the window, it's almost like you guys aren't together even though the love is there, whether there's external energy or not. So this is somebody, either this person accepting, or it's this person acknowledging Regardless, I, I don't feel you guys together. You guys have a strong bond here. A very strong bond, but it's on pause. Okay, and I think someone's like, pause? Like, I'm not looking at things behind closed windows anymore. So it's, it's, it's tricky. Okay, so we have falling. It's, it's the unknown, it's momentum, but it's, it's change. And this is change on my board. 
you know, and then somebody's sitting here, well, what's going to happen next? But somebody's ready for a new adventure. All right, so it's a, it's a quick pause before action is taken. So the change is coming. Look, remember when I talked about green eye, blue eyes? Here we go again. But regardless of that, don't get fixated on that. But like, it's, it's a descend. And somebody's going down the rabbit hole briefly. It's that pause, okay? But so stop wondering what happens next. But they're also saying be ready for an adventure. Okay, it's just a pause in action. So I don't know if you're dealing with an Aquarian. I'm not Aquarian. Um, a Pisces. Okay, because that's that pause. So it looks like maybe like a temporary pause. But I also, in the background with the song, it's like, don't let them change you. So it's like... I don't know. This is it's it's tricky. It's tricky, but that's that's the weekend energy where it's a pause and I think you both know if there's an Aquarian and a Cancer, I think you both know that there's this lover external to you. So it's like I don't know if the King of Swords has a lover. Because this one doesn't even, like, want a lover right now. Like, kind of sour. Or just tired. But if you ask me, it would be this person that's in the window. That's sour. But when I'm looking out the windows, we have both male energy and feminine energy. So it's like, I don't know if it's just back and forth, back and forth. With your thoughts, your energy. Tell me about the Six of Pents. Because this King of Swords is going right towards someone. And it's the Queen of Pence. Okay, so Queen of Pence is not usually someone sour. And again, it's it's the masculine in the background when the divine feminines, you know, at the forefront. So I don't know if she went towards somebody. And now there's some type of situation that's that's hung up. So I don't know what type of situation ship that you guys were in. You would know for sure. You know what I mean, jelly beans? But like, it's like we got Hey Baby, Steve and Molly on. So it's like understanding this judgment's understanding, but Queen of Pence can be understanding, King of Swords can be understanding, but also at the same time. That energy is very um, sharp, so not necessarily like loving. It, it's more of a sharp energy, and it's healing. Okay, so it's it's deep rooted. Don't you worry. Mm -hmm. Tell me about healing family issues. Mm -hmm. Go listen to Hey Baby, Steve and Miley. This song will tell you something. I can't turn it up. it will block my video. All right, but we got the Ten of Pence here. So this is that masculine energy spoiling the feminine energy. Okay, so it's it's household energy. It's it's about a couple. It's, it's, it's romantic. Okay, so somebody does want to try to heal something in some situation. It could just be the divine wanting to heal a situation and it not going in the divine's direction but I, I don't it's crazy I said that because things usually always go in the divine's direction but not if not if the two of them can't figure it out you know 
So, or maybe it's time for a break to, to heal family issues, to heal karma, to, to heal something. That break is here, ladies and gents, okay? But this is that weekend energy read where for those in this situation are, are just at a standstill, okay? Um, and for those who are in a relationship, it, it's kind of like you're at a little bit of a break too, trying to figure out, you know, what's, what's next. Um... <laughs> I think there was effort put in by someone. But you guys are clearly not together. You're clearly not on the same page. But the divine's just saying it's a pause. I love you guys. Have a fantastic weekend, okay? For others, if you're not in a relationship, it's you still have the past coming towards you. You have the past coming back around. Okay, so I think you're dealing with a strong Scorpio energy. Strong Scorp. Strong Aquarian. Strong Cancer. But Cancer is all about home life. I feel like it, I'm not done, but it's pulling me towards something. I can't figure out what it's pulling me towards. Maybe it's just that divine force pulling, tugging. Could just be as complex as that. I don't know if somebody's like now blaming themselves about Tell me about blame. The hermit. Well, someone's feeling bad. Someone's feeling sad. Someone's feeling like... I don't know if somebody feels like they missed an opportunity to talk with the two of wands. When you guys talk, you get lost in each other's energy. Um... So I don't know if you guys had a conversation and, and someone's blaming somebody for something. But don't play the blame game. You won't get nowhere with the blame game. Nowhere. And again, it, this external energy on the outside. You know... Tell me about blame. I'm trying to figure out the blame because I don't see blame on the board except for that one energy, the Queen of Pence energy. But the Queen of and it, Pence does not play games. She doesn't play blame games unless she's putting the blame on herself or putting herself in a situation, which I think some of you are doing right now. But you're about to go on a new adventure regardless, so accept what's happening and go on the adventure. Whether this person comes back around or not like tell me about blame judgment that's already here okay I understand that everyone has the unique paths and their own challenges so someone is definitely being challenged so this blame I feel like is either coming from this Aquarian energy because judgments right here and the air has been judging so it's bizarre. I think you guys would know who who's playing the blame game, who's feeling regret, who's judging themselves, who wants forgiveness. You guys would you guys would know, okay? Um, I'm gonna leave it at that for you guys, and I'm gonna do another video for you right after this one, okay? I love you guys. Talk soon. Bye.